Hi, um, as I mentioned, I'm going to do um, a bit of a talk around the five ways to well-being. Um, I founded the Mother World Charity on the five ways to well-being, but now at the moment um, I think it's really important about our well-being when we're stuck at home. Uh, we may not prioritise our mental health, um, but actually I think a few more weeks of um, social isolation and it will get quite difficult to um, manage our mental health. So anyway, I've rambled on a little bit there. Um, I know what I want to say. So five ways to well-being. There's clear five different ways, but the idea is that we don't focus on just one of them, that all of them blend in together um, in any given day, really. And it can be difficult to think of having the five different ways in any day when you're not actually supposed to be leaving the house. So I just wanted to look at different alternatives, really, um, around that. What I will say is um, to anybody that's watching this video, please, please do prioritise your own mental health. Uh, you may think other people have got it difficult at the moment, and, and they have um, in some circumstances, but how you're feeling in those moments when you're at home, perhaps you're like me, you've got the children at home, you're working from home, it can be quite difficult. Um, and you know uncertainty with your jobs and everything like that so you may not feel you've got the motivation to do some of this but please please try and again if you don't um, feel that you can manage some of this and you need extra support then please do make use of our befriending support line and email us at referrals at motherwellcheshirecio.com okay so the five ways to well-being let's start with what I'm doing now and that is C communicate please communicate we I've, I've found it quite difficult um why i've just been in the house do you make that call if you're like me um i don't particularly like ringing people um but what i have enjoyed is some of the new different ways of communicating zoom uh, we had a team get together yesterday on google Hang hangouts um just messaging Mess nothing wrong with messaging i keep in touch with most people by messaging but if we can communicate with somebody um, every day, that can make such a difference to our mental health. And for those that you feel you can communicate more um, honestly with, tell them how you're feeling. Use that time to explain how you're feeling. Um, and it would be nice to have a supportive listening ear. And again, you know, if that's using our befriending helpline, then that's absolutely fine as well. Um, it's just sometimes somebody to validate your feelings is, is so important. So that's communicate, communicating to them in our house and communicating to people around us. And again, um, we'll come back to that because this weaves into some of the other areas of the five ways. So the L is for learning. This is a great opportunity to perhaps look at doing something that you've never done before. All of us saying we've not got the time um, and we're perhaps doing home learning with our children. We could put an hour aside to do some learning ourselves. That's something that I'm going to do next week for weeks. As many of you who follow me a lot um, know that I was going to do a podcast. Um, well... I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to have some time off um, and put it aside and learn how to do the podcast. Um, and then I know that's something that I can focus on, that I enjoy. I absolutely love speaking to people and finding out about their lives. So again, that's linking in for me into communication. Um, but learning for you could be reading a new book, keeping that brain stimulated. It could be um, watching documentaries. There's so many things that you can log on to at the moment that are free. Um, you can, you know, learning, perhaps watching new plays, uh, online um, courses. I've seen so many online courses. That's something that I'm looking into tomorrow is to deliver my training online as well. But there's ample um, of courses for everything that you can imagine. Um, so please do look at um, that yourself. And again, you can be so tired out in doing everything else. But sometimes if you say that one hour is for you, then that can make such a difference. And normally that one hour, once you've got your head down, can be two hours um, and you're finding that you are really enjoying it. 
um, and that can you know take away sometimes the boredom of when we have got to stay into the house. So A is for being active, um, really difficult at the moment in a way. Um, obviously I um, love swimming and that is not an opportunity at the moment so um, many of you can go out for a walk and make that different. Um, you know, different walks um, that you can do, uh, obviously, without getting into your car. But believe me, online there is so many different activities that you can do to stay active. Um, I'm going to um, look at logging on to do Pilates, um, but I have seen Pilates, I've seen yoga, I've seen a more strenuous workout. We've got Teresa doing um, Fab Fitness for us every Tuesday morning. Again, it's there, and if you're unsure of where to find it, then please do get in touch. I understand for many of you, being active um, is, you know, changing from what you normally do. If you're normally um, a runner first thing in the morning, and that's not an option because you've got to stay in um, with the children, it can be really difficult. But again, it's about a routine, perhaps finding a certain time and something that you enjoy. I always say with sport, it's got to be something you enjoy. If you enjoy it, then you will keep to it. And, you know, there might be many different things that you do that you're just not sure that you've enjoyed. Try it. Oh, at the moment, everything's for free anyway. Um, and again, nobody needs to see you doing it. That is the beauty of it. I know um, there's Zumba classes. Um, so if you've been too conscious to go to a class, try it online. No one's going to see anyway. Um, but I can't tell you the impact that being active has on your mental health. It's such a positive way. Um, and although we're getting told to stay in, you know, please use that time. And please use the time to just go out and get fresh air in any way you can because it makes you feel so much better. Um, so what else have we got? Noticing. And it's for noticing in our five ways to well-being. When we're going out on our walks, this is where it all links in together. Are we noticing all the things that perhaps we've never noticed before because we've been rushing to get to school, rushing to get to work? Um, lots and lots of mindfulness classes again online. Take this time to spend to be more mindful. Um, again, when you can communicate into people, had it in the past you've been thinking about what you need to get done, what you need to achieve, have a conversation with somebody more mindfully, um, you know, and, and see where that conversation can take you when you're really recognising and listening to what other people are saying to you. Uh, mindfulness, particularly if you're at home and the children are playing up at night. We've had Sharon doing breathing techniques on our uh, mental health support group. You know, that's, the breath is always with you. Be more mindful in your breathing. Calm it right down. Um, it makes such a difference. It really does go a long way um, when you're more mindful about things. It's clear in our head and at the moment you're probably thinking you haven't got time to clear your head and you can't think straight. Ten minutes is all you need to start with and that will massively help you. The last one which is what society is all about at the moment is um, give something back. Yeah. We're, we're seeing lots of different things and some of us, you know, I mean, I, I feel that I need to be out there doing the meal deliveries, but realistically, I've still got a job to do, I've still got a charity to run, I've still got my three children at home, but what we have been able to do is perhaps speak to others. Yesterday we uh, made a cake and then um, we went and dropped it at my parents' house, so, you know, we've done the same today um, for Steve's parents, just something that we know will... Um, make them more happy um, and it's nice to see when you're doing it for others particularly those in your family that are um, you know perhaps not being able to see anybody and staying in at the moment so many simple ways particularly why the children are at home that we can all pull together to do something that makes a difference even you know when we're going out to clap for the NHS I don't know about you but it really did help um, my spirits last week when you know me and all the children Steve and the neighbours were all at the front door it can be as simple as that but just impacts your mental health it makes you feel that you've had that purpose um, to your day which you know for some of you you can really feel at the moment that that's lacking because it's so difficult so there we are there's the five ways to well-being communicate learn be active 
be mindful and give something back. But some other tips as well, you know, lots of different things. Do things that you've never had chance to do. Use this time to um, do things that you uh, read those books. As an example, we've got a lovely reading group um, online. Do your garden. That's, gardening is a really great activity to do when you want to be mindful. Look at your garden in a different way. Um, how quiet it can be or listen to the children playing out next door as an example. What I want to do is really encourage you to look at things so differently why we've got this opportunity. In one way, you know, we'll never have this time again and hopefully we never will, um, which is a good thing. But use this time wisely to make life-changing decisions because um, some of these things that you do will become the way of being and that will be what's positive about it. They'll be your new five ways to well-being. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Um, please do get in touch. I do have my um, in email, kate at motherwellcheshirecio.com. Um, for any support that you want from Motherwell, it's www.motherwellcheshirecio.com. And I obviously have my own email address, um, website, sorry, which is www.kateblakemore.com. Take care of yourselves. It's difficult out there um, and we deserve a little bit of self-care.